în moment că am trei băuți pe partea noastră. Eu se ziua să mă rog poate pentru investment în minut, before we give you much of media to ask questions. Yeah, um, no, first and foremost, um, as much as we spoiled the party, I have to say happy birthday to Kaiser Chiefs. And it's a club with their history, history in South African football. Um, they've, they've been around forever. I think everybody has supported them growing up, or majority of South Africans. So happy birthday to you. Uh, sorry for spoiling the party, but the celebrations continue. Um, about the game itself, um, yeah, they didn't change much from, from the Arrows game. Um, we knew what to expect. We had so little time to, to prepare, and we, we based our tactics on analysis. And because of the three games now in seven days, um, majority of our training season was about recovery, um, video analysis, and, and just running briefly to, through tactics. So um, I have to give kudos to the, to the boys and say, well done. They stuck to the plan. Um, I think first off, we could have been a bit better. Um, we played right into the hands um, uh, because of lack of composure. I think uh, there was a few times where we uh, played a longer pass forward from a penalty area and that, that set us up for and be vulnerable to for a counter attack. Um, but once we played it and, and we got the structure of playing star right, um, they struggled to contain us. Um, we had so much wood. Um, we were between the lines. There was opening where we could have exploited him. Uh, even in the first half, uh, I think second half, um, we pressed a bit better. Um, but it's also the result of the, the understanding from the boys and the boys being coachable. Um, it's exactly um, similar last week where we turned over in a pressing situation against Marumo and here we did it again tonight. So I have to give credit to the boys um, being humble, being receptive to new ideas um, because it's not a team that, it's not the same team you've, you, you've seen before the before the break. It's a team that's full of confidence. Um, there's a good spirit uh, in the team. There's a good atmosphere as well. Um, we knew they're going to pass quick. Um, we set them up. Um, we caught them in the trap. But um, other than that, yeah, we had to manage it. Um, from the 79th minute, we decided, uh, let's close up. Uh, let's wither the storm. And yeah, we came away with three points. So um, well done to the boys again, man. And um, yes, I want to mention um, as well that um, because of the atmosphere, the spirit in the team, there's a lot of believers in the team. Um, and I would like to give um, all glory and all praise to to God and thank you for the three point as well. Happy wishes received. Thank you very much. Members of the media, it's all about you now. Let's shut up the question and many questions we're able to field. I've got the timing that I will not reveal how much time I'm giving you. Uh, but if you go shut up, many of you will have a chance to ask questions. Ruby, my please, because already I have here. Coach uh, Lorenzo, mm -hmm. thanks for coaching with me. Um, when you appointed with the Um, and you've been a uh, time, and you've got fans as a play specialist. Mm -hmm. How sweet is it to be to have you in there? Um, I think um, I came here in the MTA final also and took a lead to to case it in. Um, yeah, the winter from the supporters will always be there. I think um, in South Africa, we as coaches, we don't get enough time to, to really see that. Um, big swallows to, to promotion, I think, in the first loss of the season, and then I got placed on special leave. So, um, and then winter, I'm a Zulu as well. I think um, only a few games as well. There was no patience, and then yeah, parted ways. Um, yeah, yeah, um, because of the players, um, because of the support of the management, we're working together well. Uh, I think it's much better. Um, the players here um, is very receptive. We in the past we had a bit of um, in South African football, there's some big players, some big egos that you have to manage as well. And when when that part of the the, the coaching drains you, and uh, the tactics and the training take take second spot, you understand. Um, but here, because of this this understanding, there's a want to win and a will to 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 improve. That's all I can ask for. But um, I will preach patience. Um, even from our supporters as well. I'm not talking about the Sikakune um, support, I'm talking about South Africa as well. Because um, at times also owners take, um, take take the cue from them. One loss um, and, and then it's a different ball game for all of us. Um, Artes is a club, it's one of the biggest clubs in Africa. 
and I support him 100%. That's what I told him now after the, the game as well. We want Paluko coaches to, to succeed at, at clubs like this. Um, um, th that's why um, patience seems to build. I think Kaiser Chiefs had the, the best talent and potential in South Africa here, some young talent here. George McClough I brought back from, from Portugal as well as I had Coach Matslachi, um, Sakhota, I had Slanti with me in there as well. So um, there's, there's a lot of talent here in South Africa. And if Chiefs is patient, they will be they will uh, close the gap between Sundowns and the rest of us. Thank you, Coach. Already a nice there. Please call for it. Uh, coach, um, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations on your success in the world of your season. Coach, um, you touched on patience, um, and uh, a lot of players have very good creativity. Um, you took over a club that was eager to uh, stand up the, the, the league table, and now you just got two ways in experience in the team. How does that make you feel and how does um, coaching the likes of Matou and Masashi and all those players from the front of make it easier for you to get into the team as well? Thank you. Um, yeah, it should have been three in a row. I think we, we dropped two points against Amazulu. Um, I think that was that, that was the one I wanted to win. <laughs> but um, we dropped two points there. Um, they got the man sent off. We, we sort of wrapped up the game. Um, so there should have been three in three, but um, it's work in progress still. Um, we had six weeks to prepare for our first game um, for the World Cup break. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Um, it's still work in progress. I don't think we, we're hitting top, um, top gear here. Um, but there's so much more we can we can get from from um, this team as well. Um, yeah, coaching the likes with, with that, that talent, with um, that caliber of players as um, the names you've mentioned as well. Um, it's... it's it's talent that should be nurtured. It's talent that should be given a, a given time and patience. Uh, but unfortunately, in South African football, you you expect to to, to win from day one. Um, we should really get our focus about what we have. Um, we I think because we we want to compete to Europe, while our our whole culture of South African football is different. Um, in in Europe, there's no there's no skipping of development stages. In South Africa, development is 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 Frown upon it, it's taken second nature. We, we neglect it a lot. And because of Europe, they come out of the academies, out of the development, 17, 18, 19, fully developed socially, physically, um, tactically as well. Always the manage the, the lifestyle, the finance, the social media. That's in Europe. In South Africa, we don't do these things. And now you're expecting youngsters, 21, 22, 23, to, to come out as well and handle all this pressure at the club like I said, see some now pirates. It's not gonna happen. And and that's why once the 25, 6, 7, 28 year olds um come to that space and made every possible mistake, as that's why the more the more mature player and the more player um experience and the more player that's the, the better players in the league is between 80, 28 and 32. So we are late developers and, and we can't seem to get it right then. And that's a fact at the moment. But um, at Chiefs, I think you have the best talent here. So, um, um, celebrate now. I hope you have your party and have your cake and also give us some as well. Thank you very much, uh, Coach. Yeah. I will take the last two questions and uh, we ask uh, Chavo to uh, prepare the next coach. Good evening, Coach, and congrats on the win. Um, if, coach, if you look at how things are shaping up now, the, 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 the season uh, today, for the last two days, uh, Paris lost, she's lost, um, just they lost, Superstore lost. Um, would you be tempted to say that, um, you know, it's what I'm going to do? <laughs> <laughs> really how you the season? Yeah, I, I saw it in the media, the, the remark as well. Um, but, but yeah, Sundance are so far uh, ahead of everybody. But because of the, the quality they have, I think tactically every coach in the country can compete tactically against Sundowns, but it's down to the quality. Um, there's no FIFA play, uh, FIFA free play in the country, and they can can buy any quality they have. I think the rest of the clubs, if you don't have the best talent, young talent, we we are settling um, no disrespect, but we're sitting for uh, um, average to to good players. Uh, we we Sundowns can just go out and play whatever they want, and then that's where FIFA free play come in. And my bosses, Mr. Um, Pekune, or I think the rest of the, the country don't have the depth of, of pockets Mr. Mitchell to have. So 
So yeah, I think tactically, if you can compete for Sundowns, I think um, um, th that shows you that um, if you don't have money, we can come up with a plan, we can actually coach a team that can compete with Sundowns. Thank you, Coach. Uh, coach, uh, congratulations on the, on the victory. <laughs> when you have the there. Um, I think from where you are now, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, separated by only a point. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason you, you don't okay. show today. The seven point has made a huge difference uh, in, 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 in this time. So, separated by only a point, um, with the team, I think with the team on the fifth spot, do you have projections uh, in terms of where you would like to be? Because you're in the halfway point now. Um, and, and, and also, that's part that one. Um, just going back to the game, uh, I think towards the end, when you brought on Dwight Mahasha, uh, you had three defenders mm. uh, on, 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 on Caleb. Is, is this based on what you had seen in terms of the game that he poses uh, coming to this game? Because I think throughout the game, you had not only had one, only one defender on him. Yeah, because of the time and, and the scoreline. Um, See if at that moment have nothing to lose and they can, can at that stage throw many numbers forward. Uh, we wanted to control that and, and of course they were overloading the sides as well. That's why we, we want to both on why um, there was a lot of space between the centre backs and all of a sudden our full backs then can get closer to, to the crosser. Um, I think you saw how many um, crosses came into the penalty area. We, it was just a tactical change to get um, um, some press on the ball in wide areas. Um, uh, that's that's purely it. It wasn't three on Caleb, but yeah, um, he's a good striker. He does pose aerial threat and physically as well. I think um, Gima and Danny had their hands full with him, and yeah, just bringing bringing extra height in there with which way to compete. Um, yeah, um, the the seven points and what 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 the other guys losing as well. Um, here we've we're only looking towards the next game, and the projection and the objectives was was to move away from from the, the relegation zone. Um, I came in and the club was in 15 position, so at least we're moving now in the in the right direction. So um, I'm happy, and we just focus on the, on the next game. I think the, the last time I took out I took over a team at 15 position, uh, we won the league. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, coach. Congratulations once more. Uh, thank and, you so much. Uh, all the best on your trip back to Stella. It's all the party, man. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you.